I'll start with dreams, right? We all know the power of dreams. The beauty of dreams is anyone can see it and just about anything. We all know what dreams can achieve. It acts like a guiding light. It acts to work towards a future which we don't know. The beauty of dreams, again, it helps you achieve more in your life. So my talk is going to be more on from dreams to goals to reality. Talking more about the dreams, right, as, as we say, the future belongs to the people who dream, and more importantly, people who do. And achieving those dreams gives us happiness, and, and isn't happiness we all strive for? So let, let me do something for you, right? I request all of you to please close your eyes. Yeah? Okay, great. Now start imagining, start visualizing all the dreams, all the wish lists which you had for the last five years, for the last ten years. Experience it. Great. Now, now you can open your eyes. Felt good? Yes. Yeah? You could, you could imagine all those things? Great. Now, it's a quick raise of hands, right? How many of you could really see vivid vivid pictures or vivid dreams or vivid images of your dreams. Great, almost all of them. That's good. Okay, now, since we're like the fag end of 2018, again, a quick question, right? How many of you have made resolutions for this year? Okay, a few of them, no, right? Be honest here, yeah, go ahead. I mean, no one's going to, you know, pinpoint on that. Come on, how many of you have I mean, How many of you have dreams? Okay, let's, let's make a list of that. How many have wish list, right? bucket list? Yeah, okay, great, all of them, okay. Keep it there, put it there, yeah? Now, out of all of you, right, how many have actually achieved it, or have accomplished it? No, not bad, close to 40%. So walked in today morning thinking that I'll be one of the speakers, went in, asked for an open slot and got it. Great, God, congrats. <laughs> so great, so yeah, that's an amazing story, right? So as you can see, close to 40% in this room have, have achieved their goals, no? Let's talk about quick statistics, right? Again, this are statistics you can take it with a pinch of salt. According to science, right, close to 92% of people are unable to achieve their dreams or their wish list or their resolutions. And only 8%, right? Again, as I said, these numbers can, can, are not verified. But there are some challenging reasons. There are some challenging issues where people don't get to achieve their, their goals or their dreams. So just to pinpoint some of them, right? So what are the main reasons? Are your goals a bit vague, but a bit unrealistic at times? Or is it because you don't, don't have the time to focus, or you don't have the time to actually start working towards it? Or, or really is it you don't have a plan for it? And, and yeah, more importantly, do you really execute it? Or should I say it's all of the above? Right? That's, that's where the challenge we all come across. Well, let me tell you my story, right? So I've, I've been, a, been an average guy, right? A pretty ordinary life, coming from a humble family. And during my childhood, right, I used to love solving problems, fiddling with electronic gadgets. And somewhere down the line, right, I thought I want to be an engineer. I didn't know what to do, how to achieve that, but yeah, that was a dream. So yeah, being an average student and yeah, more importantly, being mischievous, it was very tough for me to achieve that goal. But yeah, parents have been quite supportive and, you know, uh, they helped me to to mold me and you know achieve my dream on that. So yeah, finished my 10th, 12th, and somehow got an engineering college, finished my engineering, and there I was, right? I, I finished or fulfilled or accomplished a, a dream which I had. So as all engineers think, right, we all would change the world. And realistically, they end up changing themselves. <laughs> so here I was, right? Right out of college, had all the dreams, travel the world, do adventure stuff, live my passion and get yeah, ready to rule the world. And what happened? The reality was totally different. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck in that drag race. Yeah, nine to five job, you know, targeting, uh, targeting a schedule, working on projects. And in that race, I ended up losing my dreams. I ended up not spending enough time on planning for it. Time went by. But I thought this is not going to happen. If I want to really make myself happy, if I really want to live my passion, I had to put a plan to it, put it put to execution. So I defined a five-step approach. Yeah, but nothing new, we all know it. 
So how do I have a dream to a goal and to a reality? Pretty simple, I mean, most of you already must be knowing it, but yeah, that's what, that, this is what I practiced. So it starts with <clears throat> dreaming. Dreaming is something which you love, right? It has to be deep down, not someone, something someone has told you about, something really passionate about, something which you, really makes you happy within. Some of you really don't know what to, what, what is, it starts with why, right? We all know about Simon Sinek talking about, start with why. So start, start dreaming about it, right? That's, that's very critical at times. Second, I would say is writing it down. You have this in your mental cloud, right? But when you put it into paper, you actually make a promise to yourself. It's like an agreement. It's like a commitment to yourself stating, this is what I can want to do. And also it makes, makes it more real, right? So it can be a piece of paper, it can be a diary, write it down. It can be 30 wishes which you have. Now comes the critical part, right? It's about defining a smart goal. Now we all know, right, I mean, some people have a dream, I want to be rich. Some people are like, I want to be more fit, more healthy. Some people say, I want to travel the world. So we all had, right, but it's too ambiguous at times. Because world, right, I mean, you have a short span. I mean, you want to be fit, but can you define it? And we all know what's smart, right? I mean, I don't think I need to give a definition on it, right? But be very specific in what you want. Put a time bound and work towards it. Now, the next thing which I think some of you might be knowing about is sharing it with people who motivate you. It's a big bad world out there, right? And you can't fight all your fights. You need to have people who have been through those journeys, who have experienced it. And more importantly, they would motivate you. They would support you. Because if you are happy, invariably they become happy. Find out those people in your lives, right? And now comes a critical thing. So you are all armored up, you know what to do, you have defined a plan, you have people who to guide you. The final thing is executing it. <coughs> yeah, this is the most critical thing and that's where people have the challenges. We all know this, I mean, this is nothing new, right? But more importantly, it's all about practicing it. And for me, this really helped. This really helped in 2005, as I said. I was there running a rat race, doing things, but I thought I need to do something about my life. So what did I do, right? <coughs> Sorry. I made a goal list. Yeah. I made a, this, is, this is my goal list, yeah. And I thought it's important to be very specific. I put some timelines to it. And I thought I'll work towards it, right? There are some which are short term, maybe for the next two to three months. Some will be like for three years. Don't go beyond that. It becomes very unrealistic. Yeah. Now, the thing is that you have this and your commitment, you're making a commitment to yourself. Now, the trick which I used to do is people tend to write it down and forget about it. Now, the most important thing is make this as your reminders. Put it on your home, on your home screen of your phone. Put it on your refrigerator, put it in your diary. That reminds you every day that every small step which you make every day will help you achieve those goals. So that's the key, right? And that can only happen when you keep reminding yourself that what is that 10 minute or one hour of your daily life you are contributing to achieving your own, own dreams. That's the key, right? <coughs> if I give you a couple of examples, we talked about traveling the world, right? So with this, what happened was, with this plan of mine, I started with, start, I thought I'll start with India first, travel to around 18 states, travel to other countries, Europe and everything, but yes, the, the journey goes on. I also wanted to be, you know, trying into adventure. So I thought I'll do everything which I really wanted, right? So from paragliding to skiing, to trekking, and the beauty is just not about that. So we have all had the challenges earlier, right? About, you know, we don't having the money, we don't having the time. But trust me on this, all these travels have been all impromptu. Not much of planning, most of the times it's just a one-way ticket. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing, and at times I don't even know when I'm coming back. Except one I had to plant, that was my honeymoon. <laughs> I, I couldn't take a chance there. But, but people have this misconception, right, that you, you don't plan, you're going to spend more, you're going to get it myself. Trust me on this. I mean, the beauty of it is experiencing the local life, meeting people. You, know, you might have to talk to 10 people, but you experience those things, and that's the beauty of it. So don't spend too much of time planning, it's good, great, but then don't, that invariably can have a, have a challenge in achieving your goals. That's the first example I wanted to give you. The second was, I wanted to run the marathons, right? Marathons really helped. But the challenge was, as I said, I was like slogging 10 hours, 12 hours a day in office. And yeah, it, it, 
came with a price, I couldn't jog a lot. So what I did was, I, could, I, I took the stairs up and down in office at home and ensured that I practiced for that. And with this, I, I could run out four to five marathons. Yeah. Now comes, again, going back to the goal list, right? The beauty is you experiencing those joy when you, when you accomplish those goals, you know, the moment when you finish it. But for me, it's, it's about experiencing coming back and more importantly, putting a tick next to it. So it's like you making a promise, right? You're going through all those challenges, all these hassles, and then finally you find finishing it off. And that helps to plan for your next one. But the journey doesn't end there. Because every moment, every year, you have something new to work forward for it, right? And, and that's the main thing I don't like resolution because it comes with a time limit. For me, the Jan 1st starts now, the day you put down in your paper and you start working towards it, right? As you see, the last line, I've been associated with TEDx for the last, what, five years? So some of the pictures which you must have seen are which I have captured, right? And whenever I used to see those speakers speaking, right, and I used to get mesmerized, and also there's a dilemma to that to really take that perfect shot or just listen to the talk. But it was one thing was clear, right? Sitting there, capturing those moments, I always thought that one day I want to be a speaker. I want to share my experiences, I want to inspire other people. And that day is today. So in a nutshell, if an ordinary average guy like me can achieve all this, I'm sure you can do much more than me. So go ahead, get your goals, and live your dreams.